Hey y'all, this is a little bit of a different kind of a post and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm kind of taking you along for an ADHD ride with me. Um, it's arts and crafts time. So this lovely um, thing here, this is Big Daddy's old bookshelf from his office. And he has bestowed it upon me because my book collection has grown exponentially over the last few years. Um, as a lot of you guys probably know, I lived through the California campfire, we lost our home and everything, and along with it, my entire collection of my books, my textbooks, research papers, like absolutely everything. And I've been slowly growing it back over time. So I finally have enough that I, I now need a bookshelf. So um, I'm gonna be redoing this thing and making it absolutely beautiful, hopefully. Um, we're gonna be sanding it today, and then I'm gonna be painting it all black, like a flat black. And then I'm going to be doing some boho style um, silver and gold stars and moons and hands and things like that. So I'm hoping that it comes together the way I see it in my head. And yeah, you guys can come along with me on this journey. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> All right, first coat of paint is done. Now I let it dry for a little bit and then I hit it again with one more coat. Hey y'all, it's about two days later and I got all of the painting done uh, for this bookcase as well as all of the touch-up work. So it's a nice, clean, flat black. It looks really, really good. I'm super happy with how it came out, honestly. I, I wasn't sure I was gonna come out and it came out really good. So I found these really cool stencils and they're very boho. Um, it's stars and moons and hands and very kind of like Wiccan and witchy vibe sort of feel. So I'm gonna be painting these with some different colors. I got this one here. This is um, Liquitex Basic Acrylic. This one is silver, so it's like a shimmery kind of silver, and then this one is gold. So I'm gonna be doing some really fun little witchy vibe things on this, and then we're gonna see how it comes out after that. So wish me luck, here we go. So I did this one first and removed the stencil and it looks pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to define the edges a little bit further with a Sharpie marker and just see what happened. I may, I may actually do a silver marker. I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna see what happens. This one here is looking pretty good and it's just about ready to be removed as is that one. So we're gonna see what they look like. So this one is the third one and it looks pretty good. I think they all came out pretty, pretty well. So I'm gonna work on the second side and yeah, I actually may leave it like that. I think it looks good. So this is the second side and why don't we, let's peel it off. It's like super satisfying, right? Let's see what it looks like underneath all the stencil work. So good. Not too shabby. I like it. So there we go. Don't mind the messy garage, but uh, I got all my touch-ups and everything done and you can still see some of it right now, but you won't see it anymore. It's completely dry in about an hour. But each side has these pretty little designs and now it looks like a super cool bookshelf. So I'm excited to get it in the house and fill it up with all my books and knickknacks and crystals. See what it looks like. 